Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hitla with another new video of CSS SAP 2000 version 20. And till our previous lecture, I have just completed our model um, till that position. And I have told you that in this lecture, I will just show you that how we'll design our, I mean, how we'll draw our staircase and after that will complete our model okay so in this lecture i will just show you in easy method th that how can we draw our staircase okay so let's start so for that from here simply we can select that okay so if we select it from here and after that i'll just right click or we can i can before that i'll just come here option and I'll go a standard mode apply and okay right so I have from here if I just move that like that way because here I'll draw our um, stair right so for that if I come here you can see that here only beam have selected but also we have to select column so I'll manually select that here 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 then here also here here I hope it's okay right I hope it's okay and also we can select that for column and after that simply right click and show selected only so if we click here just see here um, sorry here one half unselected so I'll just click here pre-select okay and I'll right click show wall and I'll select that on I'll zoom it so I'll select that on okay then I'll right click then show select selection only and after that we'll see is it okay or not so here it's okay and uh, here we'll draw our stair so before starting I'm just requesting you if you're a civil engineer or also if you're new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon because your support inspires us for the next work so first of all I'll just come here draw then draw a special joint right and this is the x direction and this is y direction right so if i see here this is a, this is the x direction just we have to understand about the direction x direction the up up is z and in that direction is y direction right so now i can delete that for some time after that when record i'll just take it sorry every line have again come so I'll just select that option then I'll use pre-select and right click then show selected object only so only that object are available now okay so now what I'll do actually I'll go draw then draw a special joint so from here I'll just take in X direction so I'll give landing 3.5 so 3.5 feet right then enter after that select that point just see here here a point have created and selected point here so here a, another point have created now uh, now the question is which, which side i will just use our bottom landing so i will use our bottom landing in that side that's the i'll just give uh, okay it's done so i'll just give a minus x I'll just give it minus then enter okay after that I'll select that option here a point and that option here a point right so when we have a point and we have a point here after that I will just take a point in uh, before that I'll also take a point here for our upper landing and here at middle we need a landing right so for that actually from that point to that point the distance is 10 feet so at the middle will be in 5 feet so I'll just give it 0 and for Z 
that will be 5 feet then enter and from here I'll take a point here and I'll take a point here and I'll just again give it 0 and uh, for offset x I'll just give her 3.5 again then enter then with respect to that point we'll create a point here and with respect to that point we'll create a point here okay so when it's done now we can draw our oh uh, now we can draw our slab i mean a stair slab so for that i'll select that one and from here actually we have to select that option now or that option okay so uh, i prefer to use that option so uh, here the syllab slab are in drawing control type from here there are many option you can select okay so i'll just i'll do not any so here sec uh, section there are five we have only five uh, in slab so if you need to change that you can change that from uh, different materials so here is five after that i'll click that point that point that point that point and after that enter so here this is our on slab here again i'll draw a slab like that and after that move your mouse and enter and here again i'll draw a slab first points sorry escape again that option it's okay so that point second point third point fourth point right then i'll just enter so here we have draw a slab but only uh, they have a support and they have a support right only we have a support here and here so i think uh, that's not okay but they have another option if you use if you use a brick wall above that grid beam and uh, if you construct your that landing on that brick wall then it will be okay but if you don't want to do that you can draw a beam here okay so i'll just simply come here and here be uh, 10 by 13 okay i'll take a, be a beam uh, 10 by 13 so from that point to that point and then skip i'll just draw a beam right so to support that slab after that we need landing okay so we need landing actually so what we'll do actually now we have to understand what is the distance between that point to that point right we have to understand about that so if i draw our uh, plan i mean if we uh, so here this is our uh, plan actually now if i calculate what is the distance from that line to that line okay i mean what will be the uh, total width of our landing so here from uh, that point to that point that is 19 feet from that point to that point distance is 19 feet 7 inch but um, from here to here from that point to that point that distance is 12 feet 12 feet uh, 10 inch so what we can do here actually we will here actually um, we can do like uh, from that point to that point i mean from that distance we'll do uh, mul i mean we'll subtract that point then we'll find we'll get our that value right so what will be actually uh, this is 19 on 19 10 into 9 19 minus 12 okay so that is 7 right i mean now we'll do like minus 7 uh, 7 and they have 7 inch right they have 7 inch so what we'll do actually uh, 7 divided by 12 then we'll convert that in feet okay and we'll multiply with that 7 that means 7.58333 7.58333 
7.58333 and here they have 10 ins. So, Eight three three three. So what we'll do? Seven point five I'm sorry actually there is an easy calculation. So we'll get uh, actually six feet. I mean our that total width of that landing will be six feet and uh, nine uh, nine inch, right? Six feet nine inch. So the, this is our total length in distance right so all over the middle point of it i'll just simply divide by 2 so they are 7 point uh, 3 point 375 3.375 feet right so i'll just come here and i'll take some point at middle so what will be that is in uh, y direction okay i'll again just go ahead and draw then draw a special joint in Offset y, we can uh, if we take from that point, okay. If we consider, if we consider from that point, then we have to provide minus y value because um, here the direction in that direction. So I'll, I'll consider from that point, it's okay also. Then it will be 3.375, okay. And uh, I'll just enter. So when it's done, we can overcheck. So 3.375. Now I'll take a point here. I'll take a point here, and I'll take a point here. So this is our all uh, reference point. I mean all of the reference point for our. So I'll just click here for our. Now uh, we'll draw our step. So how? I'll select that option. Draw slab. So this is a uh, five-inch slab. So how will how I will just start? You have to do that work carefully. Okay, you have to do that work carefully. Suppose here, this is our first point. This is our second point. This is our third point, and this is our fourth point. And after that, move your mouse and enter. So here, just see here, it's okay. Now here, again, this is our first point. This is our second point. This is our third point and this is our fourth point and move your mouse here and enter just see here and i will just escape now see here we have perfectly drawn our um, stair okay and it's okay also right if you see here our stair is done i mean stair is okay now what i'll do i'll just click here uh, show wall Okay, I'll click show all and I'll just go here. Visibility and I'll go for extrude mode. Apply. Then okay. Now see here. Here we can see that this is a slab. So otherwise, if we click here, pre-select and if we right click, show selected object only. Uh, sorry, Control Z and i'll just show show wall and with that option uh pre-select i'll just use that slab that slab that slab okay and uh, that another slab but it's not visible at now okay so i'll just cancel that and I'll just click show wall and uh, from here I'll just go here A standard mode then apply then ok so if I click here actually uh, that have delete deleted so now it's ok now if we we can we can select here then here then here then here and then here also if we click pre select option okay actually it's done okay and here they have a beam or it's okay actually so if we want to show that only slab so what will be actually so show selection selection only right and if you go in extrude mode you can see what happened actually 
apply okay just see here this is your stair right we have uh, drawn our stair perfectly right so what i'll do actually i'll just close that right and i'll escape and again i'll right click show wall so our everything is okay now we'll go for replicate right we'll go for replicate now how we'll go for replicate simply here that is that is uh, 3d and here i'll go for another mode add new windows and i'll just take that in 3d it's okay and i'll take it in yz plan so from here we i'll just go down down history and i mean here okay and it shouldn't be extrude mode it shouldn't be it should be a standard then okay and now first of all i'll select that option i mean that line right i'll simply select that line okay and after that i'll just come here and i have to identify every section i have to identify every section to replicate in that floor okay so i'll just come here and i will we can see here only beam have selected now i'll select wall things from here okay so um, all column also have been selected in that floor so again i'll just go here to over confirm so our everything is okay right everything is okay now one thing we have to do actually will not copy that uh, floor right will not copy that floor because i mean uh, that uh, landing because uh, when it will replicate then it will that uh, step will connect it with that one and it will go top right like that so i think it's okay and we have successfully done our every point for replicate okay and if they have any problem then we'll solve that later after replicate okay so when it's done now i'll just go in edit then replicate then we'll go replicate uh, linear right i'll go replicate linear and that is that replicate will be in z direction that is 10 feet and number of replication that will be 2 then simply if i click apply then see what happened so our replication have completed right our replication have completed then i'll close that and uh, when it's done then i'll just go for extract view to confirm it's okay or not apply then okay now if i delete that then visibility will be good to us so uh, by clicking that option we can see we can see everything is almost okay right everything is okay so here we are seeing that everything is okay right yeah everything is okay so uh, when everything is done after that we'll assign load on it simply we'll uh, absent floor load row float and after that we'll go for analysis so thank you Thank you very much. In the next next lecture, I'll just show you about that. So thank you, thank you very much. Still, stay connected till next video. So thank you.